Hi guys. So I know I'm a bit late, but today I'm gonna make a video for like my channel's one year birthday. I was not really sure what to do for like this video because yeah, there's not much I can really do. Uh, but I decided to do just like a little bit of a run through over what has happened this entire year on my channel, everything that's happened and just like how my journey has been for like the past year. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell you guys about everything that's happened. Um, so yeah, thank you for clicking on this because that means a lot. That means that you actually have interest in my channel and that's really nice to know, you know, that um, people want to know how I've felt like in the past year on YouTube. So yeah, and I'm just really excited that we managed to hit, what's it, 1,750 subscribers in the past one year, which is pretty good. Like, I don't think I was expecting to ever get this far. So I'm just really grateful. And yeah. Let's go ahead and start talking about the channel now. Okay, so I started this channel on April 10th, and my first video was this. Things you should buy before the spring update goes away. This video was, like, not great. It was, like, my first ever video, and somehow it managed to get, like, 1,000 views. So this is just kind of like my beginning era where I just was posting adopt me stuff. And I'd say this era will end about, will go through like all of these adopt me videos when I was just beginning. I've had the same avatar with the bucket hat, white bow. It's like a very basic avatar. I don't know. At the time I thought it was so cute and aesthetic. But yeah, that was like just my beginning phase, my adopt me phase. And I was doing pretty good. I was getting like, thousands of views at the time i just started and i was off to a great start so this next sort of era sort of phase is gonna be my like pets tournament phase and also my like 100 subscribers phase so i decided to start this thing with like just a ton of random pets called the pets tournament which basically i would just like have the people like kind of choose which pet they prefer and if the pet wins then like it goes on and like you can watch through the videos if you want to know more about it but yeah i also have like a playlist for it so if you want to see it go to the playlist but anyways the video where i sort of kick started like the pets tournament this video right here it got um 1.6 thousand views this video i think is the one that made me hit 100 subscribers so if y'all are wondering i'm not gonna really get into details about this today in this video but before this channel i had a channel with like 80 it got to like 80 subscribers but it was a adopt me channel before this um maybe a few of you might have known about it um, it was a, a weird phase of mine, but I'm not going to get into that today, but I had only 80 subscribers. So that's all that I got to. So getting to a hundred was like, oh my God, like I felt so accomplished at the time because I managed to surpass my, um, channel before that, um, in less time then I managed to get 80 subscribers in the channel before. So I was like super proud. So I kind of just go through this era of doing the pets tournament. And this pretty much keeps going for like a while. I end up finishing the pets tournament with like a couple of polls because I got tired of making the videos for some reason. But yeah, this era ends around May 3rd. And keep in mind, I started April 10th. So, around May 3rd, um, I kind of call this in my, like, continuing era, like, I don't know what to call it, 
where I kind of just, like, start to change a little, start to shift, and, like, I don't know, it's just, like, my slight pickup era, um, it would probably start at this AFK farming video, because this is when I got my new avatar, as you can see right here, that's, that's different from my original avatar, and I'm not considering the, these two videos, in this era, these two videos are just kind of floating, like, I don't know, just kind of in between the eras, because they're just random, and I hadn't changed my av I hadn't changed my avatar yet, so. So we kind of go through an era with this, like, new avatar for a while, where I'm just still posting Adopt Me. I didn't hit any crazy milestones, but I was still blowing up. I was getting so, I, I feel like throughout the time of my posting of Adopt Me, I'm just blowing up so much, um, but not really anything crazy happens. Now, right after this video, um, I kind of start going into an era of like no motivation to do Adopt Me at all. And this starts in about July. And um, remember, I started like the new Avatar era in May. So like this took months to get to here. But at, after months, I was like tired of Adopt Me. And I was just kind of in like a more quiet era, less posting. And I also kind of started doing GFXs. But... I may maybe had like one commission. They were horrible GFXs. So yeah, they were extremely overpriced as well. Um, anyways. So yeah, it's kind of quiet. And then I do a video right here that's like about the downfall of my channel. Like downfall. Like it wasn't horrible. I don't know why I said that. I was kind of exaggerating a bit. But yeah, I made this video around like this was made on like august 20th so like let's just say this era starts like august 20th i start my like kind of pick up back into adopt me era and during this time i was just like all over the place especially with my style i was changing houses changing avatars it was kind of crazy and messy but this era this just like random adopt me era it's kind of just going on for like a really long time this is just my long era but i'll kind of break down this era a little bit for you guys so um halloween starts um then i post this video it's like it's a horrible video it's really cringe but it got like eight almost ninety thousand views and this is where I, I know that the last milestone I was speaking of was like 100, but I was getting more views and I was still gaining subscribers. This is where I hit 1,000 subscribers. Now this milestone for me was just insane. Like, if you ever hit 1,000 subscribers, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you get to 1,000, you feel like you're famous. Um... What else kind of happened? I mean, I had my Halloween tournament. You can also find this on a playlist. But the Halloween tournament really flopped. I mean, I put a lot of time into this and it flopped. I thought it would do good because the pet tournament did pretty good. This one flopped. Totally flopped. So I was just like, bruh. And then I kind of just had a bit of a break. And then we start into Christmas. I changed my avatar again. I was always changing my avatar, my house, my styles. I was just so all over the place. I still am. I cannot stick to anything. But uh, there's always room for change. So anyway, we kind of just go into this era where we're posting. We're posting Adopt Me. Um, Not really much happens. Um, I'd say that this era lasts until about like January january like the middle like january 13th i just go through a whole adopt me era i think my adopt me era does not really like end necessarily but i do have just like a kind of background era going on 
so that's why I'm saying that that era stopped. So this background era was my total drama era. So as you can see, I posted this total Roblox drama, but a wheel decides who I vote video. And that was just kind of like, just, that's kind of where I started my total Roblox drama era. But that was like, I wasn't making videos about that until later. So I'll talk about that once we get there. Then through about like late January to March 2nd, about like early March, I just go through a lot more adopt me, just like just random adopt me era. And um, another background era going on during this adopt me era. I know that this is super complicated, all these eras, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it the simplest I can. So um, I kind of just go into like a GFX era while I start GFX is like in the middle of this era. So it's like February 13th, I started GFXs. Anyway, so after March 2nd, I have a video talking about channel changes again. So this is similar to like my downfall of my channel video. It's just more like less negative and more just like, hey guys, I'm getting, this is my actual warning and actual transition into more total drama content instead of adopt me. So after that, I just go through a phase of like, Total drama, adopt me, slight so a little bit of adopt me, a lots of total drama, and just like yeah, just like just random, I don't know. And then I also did start GFXs and um that was pretty cool. Um Well, there was a little bit of drama going on that I'm not going to talk about because I don't need to. But uh that's about it. So I'm continuing this era and um until about april 6th hits um so yeah we don't really need to go into i'm not gonna really go into detail about what happened during on april 6th and during this next era um i can i'm not gonna really talk about that in this video so yeah i'm not gonna talk about that um during like april 6th to like basically today april 20th i've been in just like a more quiet era because of something that happened but i also just haven't posted and yeah that's about it so i'm just calling it just like my really random just quiet era because i was actually quiet like i i didn't post a lot i haven't posted for like 13 days which you're probably like that's not a lot i always would post a lot like i don't know to me, that's a lot, because it just felt like I hadn't been on YouTube a lot. But, yeah, I've recently just had, like, a more quiet era. So, if I ever do another video like this, I'm probably not going to even consider my quiet era. But right now, I am, because it's just more important as of right now. And there we go. That's it. Now, here I am. I'm not really getting any more views, um... Right now, I'm kind of going into, like, a channel revamp era. I'm getting, like, a new avatar and new color theme. And I don't know what's going to happen now. I'm going to probably do more Total Drama content. Maybe some adopt me. And then, like, I'm probably going to keep doing GFXs. That's about it. So, that was just my entire channel's journey. It's been, like, amazing. I'm beyond grateful for this. Like, this, like, changed my life. Like, meeting so many people, going through all these kind of times, and it's only been a year, and it's already been, like, just amazing. And, um, and I want to just give, like, a big thank you to all of my supporters who have like been active and all of that because I would not be here without you. Actually, speaking of active supporters, I might have something coming up. So yeah, I might have something coming up for people who are active on my channel. Uh, 
Thank you guys just so much. Like, this has been an amazing year on YouTube. And I hope this next year on YouTube can be even better. Um, so, bye guys.